Prime Minister Netanyahu has repeatedly said that the goal of Israel's military efforts is total victory. Yet asked recently what total victory would look like, he responded chillingly by saying that it is like smashing a glass, quote, into small pieces, and then you continue to smash it into even smaller pieces, and you continue hitting them, end of quote, Prime Minister Netanyahu. And the question that we as Americans and as the United States Congress must ask, is how many more children and innocent people will be smashed by Netanyahu in this process? Madam President, it is quite clear that beyond total destruction of Gaza, Netanyahu has no plan. President Biden is absolutely right. It does have to stop. It has to stop now. And that is in our hands. Unbelievably, Unbelievably, despite all of this, the U.S. Congress is prepared to spend another $14 billion on military aid to Netanyahu's right-wing government. $14 billion more. And $10 billion of this money is totally unrestricted and will allow Netanyahu to buy more of the bombs he has used to flatten Gaza and to kill thousands and thousands of children. Does the United States Congress really want to provide more military aid to Netanyahu so that he can annihilate thousands and thousands more men, women, and children? Do we really want to reward Netanyahu even while he ignores virtually everything the President of the United States is asking him to do? Do we want to give even more support to the leader of the most right-wing government in Israel's history, a man who has dedicated his political career to killing the prospects of a two-state solution? Madam President, that is really hard to believe. But that is exactly what this legislation before us will do.